up everyone this is dr webb here today i'm going to be talking about a question that i get pretty frequently um, i get questions from students who are inquiring about the health profession scholarship in the military uh, that's the hsps scholarship as a disclaimer i am not a recruiter i never did this program never took this scholarship um, this is just from my knowledge of this area just from speak for, speaking to different individuals as well as uh, doing a little bit of reading myself. Um, so the question I get is, should I take this scholarship? Do you think it's worth it? Which route should I take? Should I go the military route or should I have the um, get student loans and pay for school myself? Medical school, tuition is expensive. My advice would be to go to a school where you can get a good education, which majority of the schools you will, at a good price. I, where I went to medical school at Georgetown, it was, it was extremely expensive, $80,000 per year. In Texas, there are schools, 20000 30000 maybe 40000 per year. So looking back over it, if I could have did it all over again, I would have went to a cheaper school, I think. But... I didn't have many options when I was going through the process and I felt like Georgetown afforded me the best opportunity to get my metrical education. So I felt like um, uh, that's what I needed to do at that point. I was prior Air Force enlisted for six years and I did two years in the reserves. Uh, and I had the option to do a HSPS scholarship, which the military, the branches, Marine, or I'm sorry, Navy, Army, Air Force will pay for your medical school, no matter what the tuition, pay for all your, your books, your fees, and plus they will give you a stipend each month of about $2,000, depending on where you live, as well as a signing bonus. Um, I went to the Army's site recently and they had a signing bonus for $20,000. So depending on when you watch this video or um, who you talk to, that signing bonus may be different if there is a signing bonus at all. Some pros of the scholarship, I think, that you will have your tuition paid for. You'll come out of school debt-free. Um, all your books and fees will be paid for. Um, you will get a, you know, a paycheck while you are in medical school, while your other medical school classmates are kind of barely struggling to get by with financial aid. You'll have some extra money from the military giving you money each month. Once you finish medical school, uh, you'll have benefits, health care, as well as dental that are kind of um, top-notch medical, um, medical care and, and, and benefits, um, as well as, like I said, you'll come out with no debt, and um, you'll get start. You'll be, a non, you'll be a commissioned officer in the military, which means you have to get commissioned, you have to go through a uh, commissioned officer training school, and then become an officer. The downsides, I think, um, you do have a chance to get deployed. Um, I have a friend who's an anesthesiologist, and as soon as he finished his training, his fellowship, before he even got to his duty station, they sent him to Afghanistan for six months, and he, had a fa he has a family. Uh, so there's a chance you can get deployed. There's a chance that you can go somewhere you don't want to end up at. You may end up in Montana, Wyoming, Texas, if you don't like Texas. Florida, anywhere. They can send you anywhere if they want to. They kind of dictate where you can practice. Uh, they kind of dictate if and when you can do a fellowship. Most people do a fellowship in orthopedic surgery. Even if you were not doing a fellowship, but if you uh, decided to do one later, the military kind of dictates if and when you can do that. So for me, I thought the pros did not outweigh the cons, and that's the reason why I did not go the military route and do the scholarship. But you have to weigh your options. Another thing you should consider if you're going into a specialty that does not pay much, uh, because one of the biggest differences, in, uh, I would say, in the military versus civilian is pay. The pay is, I would say, four to times, four to five times more for orthopedic surgeon on the outside in the civilian world than in the military. So, if you go into a specialty where it's like pediatrics or family medicine or uh, emergency medicine, that pay difference may not be that big. So your pay in the military may be comparable to what you'll make um, as a civilian and including your bonuses. So 
just consider where do you want to end up at, how much tuition and medical school debt you will have. Um, if you'd consider a, um, a considering a fellowship, and what specialty you would go into. If you go into something like pediatrics, I would more consider going to the military, but you have to take into account that you may get deployed, may get sent somewhere you don't want to go. So those are my thoughts. If you guys have any more questions, email me at overcomingtheoddsbook at gmail.com or contact me on my website, antoniowebmd.com. See you next time.